we're spray painting, we're building kitchens, we're putting our old car up for sale. <laughs> we're doing all sorts of stuff this morning. Um, we started about 6.30 this morning, so we pretty much just slept eight hours, got right back up and just started kicking at it again. But I'm really excited about the white spray paint on the interior. I thought it would be kind of, I don't know, I wasn't too excited about how like when I first started doing it, but now that everything is all like this nice white color, it really makes the van just look a lot bigger uh, on the inside, which is always an important thing when you're building an 84 square foot van. Um, so for now, we're just uh, prepping the old car for sale right there, getting rid of that, and then getting ready to move in full time to this guy. So we just tried fitting our countertop to the kitchen cabinet and unfortunately it was cut a little bit too short so it didn't sit flush against the wall. So instead what we did is shave just the tiniest bit off of the countertop lip and that allows us to then slide it in and hopefully it'll fit, sit flush. Um, it took a lot of different tools, our circ saw, the table saw and now a chisel and hammer just to get the little pieces off. Um, we'll see how this goes. We had to notch a little bit on the side too to fit the curves of the van, but I think it's going to turn out okay. beginning layout of where the stove is going to go as well as the sink and our sink is just a little bit bigger than we were hoping it would be it's for a full-size countertop and obviously this is not a full-size kitchen so we might have to cut it down a little bit not sure and the installation instructions for this thing were hilarious it just says cut a hole screw it down Actually, it doesn't even say cut a hole, right? No, it, it doesn't says... even say cut a hole that's the best part <laughs> it says screw it down it just says screw it down so you know yeah. It's mostly a, a DIY yeah. operation. Yeah, that, that, this I like. This is going to be cool. It just asked, is it going to drop? It did drop, <laughs> it turns out. All right. Here you go. Lots of sawdust. Now I just got to clean up the sides. Now we gotta get a vacuum cleaner in there. Flame king Behold, is going the in. The flame king. My eyeballs don't work anymore. Ooh. Behold. Ooh. Just a little. Where did I miss? A little short. I don't know. Right there. Yeah, shave that off. Behold, the flame king. <laughs> Would you just get in there, flame king? <laughs> Understand why you won't fit. Hold on, hold on, don't force that. Oh, 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 don't. Oh. Yeah. Well, now we. Okay. Behold. Are we able to take it out the again? The flame king. How, do we have to? Well, the tape. Well, oh, okay. Then we'll just, you know, <laughs> go like that. Behold. Behold. Okay, lunch time. Okay, time to finish up painting this door. Turn this bad boy white. I think that's the last spray painting I got to do. Got a real quick two coats on there. Poof. Very painty in here. <sighs> All right, time for lunch. Okay, so uh, our sink basically exactly fits. Just, just barely. So this jigsaw cut, we only get one shot at. Oh boy. If we go too small, then I can't clean it up. So, yeah, it, uh... So a lot's writing on that. <laughs> yeah, this is, 
one of those um, one of those measured 20 times and then cut once hopefully uh, go real slow and hopefully get it right the first time first pilot hole tries ahead. <laughs> Lots happening on this side of the van right now. <laughs> that was straight to you over there. Yeah, that's good. Guy. We just drilled some holes into the cabinet, put on the dry erase, which was a little bit tricky, and Josh is mounting the panel. Yay! Six and then we're going to mount the cabinet to the floor. Six inches from the front. So technical, you're going to be hitting metal. Okay, two is dry fit. Let me put two on. Let me get to the other end. Stupid Philip, whoever Philip is with his Philip screwdriver. Why? It's such a terrible head. Look at that thing. It doesn't hold. It means well. Uh, yeah, I know, but it's just. Yeah, is I like Philip. Yeah, that's it's true. Right is the worst. So, <laughs> it has the worst. If that's you can correct. get the end. It's perfect. What is your solution? Oh, what happened there? So. With longer screws like this, if they just had like a nut driver head on the top of them, something that you could like put into something and then screw it in, it'd be so easy. One more, Josh. Yeah, but would you have a flat? Would it be flat when you were done or would it stick up? That's what happened here? We've got I scraped always. when I think when we put it in. Excuse me. It is what it is. Okay, so what we needed was the exact right length of screws, and the hardware store didn't have them. We needed two and a quarter inch, and we only had two and a halfers. So we just bought a bunch of washers to put on the end of the screw to make them the right length. Cool. Um, when you're going up into a countertop like this from the bottom, yeah. you really need to make sure that they're the exact right length. They need to pull in and pull it nice and tight so you can't pull the countertop off. But they also can't go through because the top laminate is so weak and puny and tiny so you just gotta you gotta play with it a little bit get the exact right configuration somebody needs to push down real hard and make sure it's in the right spot yeah man we're ready ready mm -hmm. good so what we're doing is we're installing this faucet and we got to tighten it down and uh it takes it takes quite a while to tighten down. It's a really long throw on it, so you really gotta tighten it for a long time. Um, but my mom and I just built this super cool sink cover with Whoa, a hole in it. Oh, yeah. look at that. So we got a little routing on the bottom. Professional looking. Fits nice. Fits great. So How'd yeah, you build it? A little extra countertop space. So we had to measure and then cut a piece to just smaller than this size. 
And then once you're done with that, cut the things at 45 degrees and then you can see the sink has this little lip on it right here. So then you have to use the router to leave just enough to make it strong, but not get rid of too much. So that way it uh, breaks or wiggles once you're driving. So then once you routed this and you just clean up the rest of the router and then you do that same thing with all four sides. Nice. We didn't really, you didn't really know how to use the router correctly when we started and we may very well still not know how to use the router correctly. Uh, but I think it turned out great. It looks great. Yeah. Guys, we have a fully functioning kitchen. Let me show you. We got over there by Josh, the Flame King. Pow! Look at that propane stove. Ooh! We got a countertop also. Look how beautiful it is. And we got our sink and faucet, which has this nice, uh, cover that Josh and his mom made from also the countertop yep. and yeah I love it it looks so good I know we say this all the time every single day but it's starting to really 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 feel like home this looks like a kitchen that belongs in somebody's fancy home I think yeah but really we spent maybe less than three hundred dollars on all of that way less yeah, yeah. We did a lot of little projects today, but all the little projects added up. We did the side panel for the cabinets. We mounted the cabinet itself. We worked on the countertop. We installed the stove and um, installed the faucet and the sink, but it really worked out and it looks really good. We are all pretty beat and running low on the energy meter, so we're gonna call it a night. But if you want to keep following us on our van build, feel free to subscribe and give us a like and you'll see how the rest of this goes. Have a good night. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Okay, Jersh, tell the good people what's going to happen right now. I can't hear so good. What'd you say? Oh. What? What? What's happening right now? Do you need another pair of eyes? No. Bye. Bye. Less eyes, the better. Good luck. <laughs> oh, I didn't turn okay, them. Okay, just getting our first beers out of our fridge. Oh, yeah. Are they cold? They are nice and chilled. A... Do you have a bottle opener? No. Oh. Then we just drill the one-inch hole, which oh. we now know is the perfect size for my grubby fingers. Hmm.